Here's a dead simple way to always find their card no matter who shuffles the deck, even them, as much as they want. Yes, it's very good. All right, you beautiful, beautiful bastards. Still hanging out at the Kung Fu Saloon. We got Matt, we got Michael Carducci, and of course, Nate Staniforth. Michael, what else you got for us? All right, so I work in the real world. and the real world, you deal with a lot of people. People love magic, people who wake up in the morning and all they want to do is screw you up. Yeah. I'm going to give you something surefire that if you ever run into those people, you will always find the card. If we just start real simple, have somebody pick a card. And if you would, I want you to be that person. You okay. want to shuffle, you want to everything. That's right. So do me a favor. First, grab a card. Have a look at it. Doesn't matter if we see it because you're going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. Okay. Nice and big across the face. And it, fine, you, you can see it. Wait, does that, that seems like, okay. And be a little hostile here. So if I just say, all right, put it back anywhere you like. Let me take the cards, let me do this, let me do that. Go okay. Ahead. All right, okay. If you, if, you, uh, if you think I'm going to do some sleight of hand, let's just do this as fairly as possible. Okay. Okay. I won't put the card in here. I'll leave it sticking out a little bit, so uh, so when we so go in here, it's definitely in the it's middle. Still there. Go take the whole deck. Take, why take not? Take the whole thing. Because obviously, yeah. Put you saw it go in. Shuffle them up. Behind. I'll look away. I, I won't even watch the shuffle. Don't don't mix them. Shuffle them. Shuffle we learned them. this one. Uh, shuffle. shuffle. You're not gonna get us twice. To your heart's content. I've got nothing. You saw it go in. Can't get fairer than this. Truly test condition. That's a pretty fair shuffle, that's right? Fair. Yeah. That's, that's legit. So all we know is that your card is lost in here somewhere. Yeah. Maybe we'll give him a cut, anything like that, but no matter what you do, you're going to keep track of that card. Jesus. <laughs> no matter what you do, they can do anything. And you'll know instantly if they really want to get you and they take it out, you know instantly that it's gone. So clean, so good, right? Oh, yes. All right, look, we got a toast. Otherwise, he won't teach us his wizard powers. <laughs> All right, Matt, fooled, yes or no? Yes. Nate? <laughs> really? <laughs> Pisses me off a little, frankly. But. <laughs> well, and, and the, the beauty, of course, is like you invited him to be a hostile uh -huh. audience member, right? And so you were able to make And he didn't have it in him, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, are way too sweet. You are way that too that kind to me. I was like, come on, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll tear you up, son. So walk us through this. This is too good. I got to know. All right. So uh, invented by a guy named Arthur Buckley in a book called Card Control. Again, another Dover publication. It's like $12. Honestly, out of all the old classic books on card magic, I think it's like the best value for money. A lot of people look at Erdnay, something like that. There's so much brilliant material in there. I'm gonna show you the exposed view. So here's the card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread the cards out a little bit to show the card. And I just come with my thumb. Are you kidding me? Right? <laughs> oh man. I square them back together. And I hand them over. It's so good. So I could, I could shuffle this. You, you could you shuffle it forever. You, you don't care at all. No. I'm, at that point, you square it up, and it's in there. And you would think that the act of shuffling the cards would uh, massage out that little bevel that you did. But it really, it really sticks in because the, the, the stock of the card is, is, yeah. is firm enough that it's going to hold that. Yeah. Especially if you're using a newer deck. There it is. There it is. When you look at it that, now you see it plain as day. So now, because that's there, you could just cut right to it, and then, who's a wizard? I feel like I should have known this, but. <laughs> and what's really beautiful, because you've got that, that little tiny bend right there in the corner, crimp, what you'll find more often than not, let's say this card is in the middle, and as they're shuffling, in the act of shuffling, what they tend to do is they shuffle that card right back to the top. They'll set it down. They'll say, find it now, Magic Man. Yeah, I would have just left. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, it's so rare that I get to be the student on this. Can I Can I attempt to perform this yes, entire please, trick? Please. Okay, okay, okay. So first, uh, uh, I'm going to remove this little bend on here. Yeah. And, I, and I hope, man, all of a sudden I have a lot of empathy for everybody who appears on Scam School. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, hey, uh, jerk. Yeah. You're a jerk. Why don't you take a card, jerk? Pick one of those, just your favorite. Give me the rest, write your name on it, and draw a sad face, because that's how you're gonna feel when me uh, blows your mind. Some magicians are gonna tell you to, oh, put your card there, oh wait, I don't know that it's underneath that one. I wanna be very clear that anywhere in here, anywhere in here, you can stick your card. All right, are you, are you, and you know what? You might think, I know it's somewhere near the middle. I'm gonna get it closer to the middle here, right? 
And then, boy, this is this is harder than I than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I want you to see. You know what? Here, I'm not gonna do it. Nate, Nate, just just push, 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 push. And I was leaving face up at that point, so they see it going in, because these people are aggressively oh, hostile. Oh, face. Oh, oh, I, you're oh, right. Yeah. I should have. Yeah. So I'll shuffle. And Nate, you can shuffle. Oh man, I'm so nervous about this. You got this. So at this point, all I know, I don't know what your card is. Right. I know you signed it. And I know that I was able to, with my thumb, kind of peel up that little corner. Yep. So I guess what I'm doing right now is I'm scanning, looking for that break. And I think I found it right there. Yeah. Right? So I'm, I'm gonna hold it in these hands and then I'm gonna grab the corners and cut to it. And I'm gonna use another scam school trick here. What was your card? The three of hearts, I believe. Oh! oh my God. Oh, that oh. felt really, really good. Oh my God, that was fantastic. Thank you, Michael Carducci. <laughs> Got to give a huge thanks to both Michael Carducci and Nate Staniforth for slumming with us. They are awesome, awesome magicians. Check out all their stuff, including Nate's brand new book coming out any minute now. We did a 20 plus minute interview with Nate where he promised to give away his latest, most brilliant magical idea to anybody who pre-orders his book. Check out the whole interview or details in the comments below. Meanwhile, if you have a favorite bar scam, magic trick, or unbeatable puzzle, write me directly at brianatshwood.com or hit me up on Twitter at Twitter twitter.com slash wood. There is no C in Schwood. Go check out that interview. Why are you still here? Go, go watch the interview with Nate. It's a good interview. Oh, now, now you're going to see my flip flops. Don't, don't, nah, ah, damn, ah, damn it. Get ready to meet one of my best, my blues. That's right. <laughs>